Let's look at this bullshit right here. Check this shit out. Welcome to your course on harassment. You're about to discover not only what harassment is, but also some important tools you can use to help you manage difficult situations should they arise. That sounds like a lot of information. I'll say. Oh, hi, I'm glad you're both here. My co-hosts here are right. It is a lot of information, but harassment is serious business. What the you need fuck? The right information to help keep your actions professional and to handle harassment you experience. What the and fuck? Why do I gotta be dudes? Are you ready to get started? No, I fuck am. that. No, no, no. We ain't trying to get shit. All right. Let's play this shit. Fuck it. Me too. Let's go. See, that's what they gonna do to you. See what I'm saying? He said just the exact words that'll happen to you if you try to do that. Let's go to this next Have shit. Have you ever worked for an organization where the employees cared about their workplace environment and kept it clean and welcoming? No. Where they cared about each other and mm. treated each other with respect and mm. civility? No. Yes, I have. Bullshit. Yeah, sounds a lot like you, shut the fuck up, you bitch brain man, Johnny. What the fuck? Where I'm working right now. That's great. What's the secret? No secret at all. It's our culture of ethics and respect. It starts at the top, but everyone has a role to play, and we all take responsibility for it. Yeah, you're right. It do start at the top, and it's usually this one right here that controls the shit at the top. Not you right here. Not you right here. Not you right here. This Karen is usually snitching on your motherfucking ass. So watch for these motherfuckers right here. All right, keep going. Let, let's see what we got here. What the fuck? We each hold each other accountable for how we behave and how we treat each other. On the other hand, have you ever worked at a place where employees didn't care? Where... But, uh, oh, 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 you, oh, you see that shit? Do you see this shit? Brothers, you see this shit? How come this dude got into the picture? What what the fuck is that about? Why is it gotta be yo? Would play why why you gotta automatically assume that when a place doesn't go well, workplace doesn't seem right. This motherfucker gotta be here. Are you serious? Let me play this again. Let, let me play some shit. I can't rewind it, but let, let's keep it going. Disrespectful behavior was the norm and harassment was tolerated. Yeah. Yeah, you, you notice how he had to asshole it out. Let me keep it going. Yes, it was a very toxic environment. Toxic. That's a good word for Oh, 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 toxic. That's a good word. Get the fuck out of it. See? See, brothers? See what I'm th This is the bullshit I be talking. This is the bullshit we'd all been talking about, right? Right? Keep it going. Keep it going. Well, the negative behavior continued because nobody spoke up. No one took responsibility or did anything. I guess you could say the garbage really piled up. Of course, all the good people started leaving. Once the lawsuits and negative headlines started, the business really declined. That's exactly what happens. And it's why everyone, regardless of their position, needs to be responsible for our culture. Harassment of any kind cannot be tolerated. Our workplace culture is your culture, and it starts with your behavior and your choices. One person really can make a difference. And in this course... Why well, gotta be that? Huh? Huh? Why couldn't it be this dude? Why couldn't it even be this dude? Or this dude right here behind you? You can't see him, really. But why it can't be these people? Why I gotta be this one in the... Yeah. You see this shit? Brothers. Do you see this shit? Let me keep it going. Let me keep it. What the fuck? You'll learn how you can make a difference in our workplace. And how to handle situations where you experience or witness harassing behaviors. Are you ready? Let's get started. I think you missed a spot. No, I didn't. Ain't that about a bitch? See? See? He, he, she bitched you up. See? Already. Already off the top. You see what happened, man? God damn it! Have you ever worked for an organization? Oh, we where we did this already. Workplace environment and kept it. Yeah, we did this already, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
You may not realize it, but the way people act at work impacts the people around them. No shit. In this next scenario, watch what happens when Tanner makes a sexist comment about a new female employee to his co-workers. Come on, Malcolm. Leo, eh? Don't tell me you didn't notice the new hire, hmm? Heath in HR sure knows how to pick up. Only hire the pretty ones. Wow. I can't believe Tanner said that. Oh my god. I'm such a bitch brains mangina. He is right, but you know, we do have a male HR and 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 it'd be a lot better if we had a female one to see if if our hiring quotas based on gender and race might work for us. We need to get woke. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we just all gotten used to it. Yeah, I guess we all got used to it, right? Tanner's at it again. How does anyone say something like that and think it's okay? I'm tired of his comments about women's bodies and the looks. I feel like I should speak up, but I don't want to be seen as a troublemaker here. It could hurt my chances at a promotion. I feel bad, but I'm just gonna stay quiet. How in the fuck are you gonna be seen as a troublemaker? At all. At all. How in the fuck is that gonna happen? You are the very person they cater to in the workplace. You're no longer that 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 swashbuckling whistleblower anymore. You are the status quo. So they're gonna uh, they're gonna fucking accept it anyway. <sighs> insulting doesn't anyone else think these comments are offensive oh not this karen oh but this is this is totally official karen face <laughs> you see this shit official motherfucking karen face are you fucking kidding me <laughs> where did they cast these people Anywho, let us hear what she got to say. Hold up. Women should be respected for their contributions, not judged by their looks. Neither should men, bitch. I'm the only one who ever says anything to Tanner about his behavior. Because you're a Karen. Clearly, he doesn't care what I think since I'm a woman. No, because you're a Karen. Does Tanner really think I support him on this? I never talk about a female colleague the way he does. Unless I'm at the bar drunk in a motherfucker and I'm down by like five shots and two beers after talking with this dude. I can't do it at work though, but uh, he doing it at work right now with all these cares and shit around? See, I'm, I'm talking for him. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, so let, let's hear what he's really trying to say here. Check it out. If everyone else thinks this is okay, I'm working at the wrong place. I really need to update my resume and find another job. So, what do you th I need to find another motherfucking job, bitch. <laughs> Especially not with bitch brain man genres like these. But let's hear what you gotta say. Think. How would you feel in this situation? Did you identify with any of the thoughts Tanner's co-workers were having? Fuck no! Let's continue on to learn more. You may not realize it, but... Yeah, I may not realize it, bitch, but hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's go to this next shit. Let, let, let's see what she's saying. Oh, this is great. Okay, okay. I'll stop the video right here, man. Uh, Just a little something, you know, that shine that I be listening to here. You know, have you ever gotten a training video <laughs> when this bullshit goes on? <laughs> oh, man. Share, like, subscribe. You know where the description links are. But, yo, before I leave about this motherfucker, do. Do. Use a bitch brain mangina. You. You're the one they cater to in the workplace. 
Stop the fucking games. You're usually the fucking HR. The young version, anyway. You, you, oh my gosh, this is like Michelle Pfeiffer 30 years after Dangerous Minds. You were the HR in charge of the workplace until you got replaced by her because they were looking for younger. But you are a motherfucking Karen for real, for real. The most deplorable in this whole motherfucking scenario. And you, brother, bro, what the fuck? Get your money. Fuck what Tanner's talking about, even if he is talking about shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, what best you could do as a man? Okay, check it out. I'm red pill, right? You could take Tanner to the side. Yo, invite Tanner to a motherfucking drink at the bar. You know what I'm saying, fam? And talk to him about this shit. Be like, yo, we, you know it, this place will hashtag me to your motherfucking ass, man. You know? You can't just be saying shit like that, man. Get your money. Stack and move and get the fuck out of there. If I were this motherfucker right here. Well, anywho, brother, that that is uh, <laughs> these folks, man. This is what was on my mind. So, uh, yeah, dog, uh, share, comment, subscribe, whatever the fuck. I'm out.